Tons of companies today struggle with generational differences and upgrading their technology. Today we will be addressing these problems in regards to how they affected Walmart employees and how HR companies can come in and assist in solving these issues. We work at PASS, an HR consulted company hired by Walmart to implement a training program for their inventory staff. In the training program, we will instruct the trainees in upgrading the system from paper to Excel on a shared company iPad. This is due to the previous miscommunication and lack of efficiency while taking inventory. Walmart is starting to update their inventory process by implementing a new technological advancement of using iPads with Excel to keep track of daily inventory, monthly inventory, and compiling these inventory numbers smoothly for a total of a yearly inventory. You can see how the woman is struggling with the old way of counting inventory. There can be miscounts, it can be difficult, and an overall time-consuming process. Instilling a new technology can be an easy solution. It is important for HR representatives to be aware of the generational differences that are involved in this process as well. This means being able to communicate and teach this new technology in a way that will be received effectively and efficiently by various age groups. Training programs are instilled by HR companies to combat these differences in communication and understanding among employees. Our HR company, PASS, will be using a training program over the course of four days in order to teach the employees of Walmart this new technology. We begin the training with a short answer pretest. This is meant to get an idea of the trainee's existing knowledge in regards to the skills on technology and the way they handle difficult situations in retaining inventory, otherwise known as their problem solving skills. Pretests are an evaluation method and are valuable resources to allow trainees to reflect on where they stand currently. It also gives HR representatives an idea of what areas need special attention when developing their lesson plan. The second step of the training program involves a classroom-based training technique. This is where the employees are set up in a meeting room where they are presented a PowerPoint and lecture regarding the basics of Excel. This will include a presentation on the various functions they will need to learn in order to use this program for collecting inventory. This is a training style that requires more of a one-way path of communication between the trainees and the HR representatives. As you can see, this is a sample slide of the PowerPoint we would be showing the trainees about the functions and uses of Excel. On the third day, this lecture-based training transitions into an experiential learning technique. This means employees experience a more hands-on learning process. They are broken into partners with an iPad for each team. Teams will then have one person who is more familiar with the technology and one person who is not. They will be given a worksheet where they are asked to complete different tasks on Excel using the information taught to them on the previous day. On the fourth and final day of training, employees are ready to spread their wings. They will be expected to know how to use technology in a way that will enable them to execute their job responsibilities, like taking inventory. As you can see, they may still have a few questions to be asked about the newly installed technology, but the managers and HR representatives are there to help. There should be a general understanding of how the material they have learned applies to their everyday job. On-the-job training merges the training that the employees have received with the reality of the skills they will need to succeed day to day. This enables the trainees to see the importance of the training program. After their first few hours of the on-the-job training, the employees will be asked to perform a post-test. This is simply answering the same open-ended question that they did on the first day of training, except this time the employers and the HR representatives are hoping to see a difference in the trainees' responses. Managers can make note of whether they want an HR company to return and implement the program again in the future. Post-tests help reassure employers and HR companies that the training programs were effective and that the learning objectives were met. This means that employees were able to take something away from the process and learn to help improve their generational differences and usage of technology. With the help of training programs, employees are able to implement the new method of collecting inventory effectively and hassle-free.